Hey, so it's Dave here from Green Meadow Lawn Care, and today I'm talking with John Garcia. Talk to me about the different types of weed control. I know a lot of people use a, a broad spectrum where we can treat everything with this type of weed control, and generally it's a pretty affordable type of product, but I know there's also some real difficult weeds out there like ground ivy, violets, nuts edge, where you gotta use something a little more expensive with a little better strategy. Yeah, no, great question. A question that we get quite often, and you know, mo most of your most of the lawn care companies out there, most homeowners are going to use a traditional three-way herbicide. That's going to do a really nice job on things like uh, clover and dandelions, and you know, some of the other run-of-the-mill, easy-to-control stuff that, that that you'll find in a, in a typical lawn environment. The problem that you run into is when you get into some of the really waxy cuticle dicot weeds, things like ground ivy or wild strawberry or wild violet, and those types of things. Uh, you need to use a more expensive product to be able to control those things. A lot of lawn care companies will upcharge for those types of applications. Um, and then you could get into some of the real specialty things like Nutsedge, uh, where the products that control nuts gets, Nutsedge are very, very expensive. Yeah. And um, you know, almost everybody that I know is, is, is charging a premium for properties that have Nutsedge issues. In some instances, they're even charging a premium for, um, you know, uh, unusual crabgrass control outbreaks or goose grass um, or Dallas grass or past pollen or some of those other things uh, because the chemistries are very specialized and they're designed um, you know to be as soft on the environment as possible and only affect the things that you're trying to control so um, you know it's easy it's one thing when you could just grab one jug and dump it out there and, and, and go and, and, and broadcast spray lawns and, and hope you get the majority right. of the stuff out there, but when you're getting into some of the real specialized things, it's gonna drive the, the costs up for the lawn care provider as well as for the homeowner. So being somebody who provides these products to businesses to, to provide those services, you see um, the, the generic or, or the broad spectrum, the, the stuff everybody uses, let's, let's say it's a dollar. What's the, what's the real good stuff cost? Is like $2, $3? Two times as much, three times as much. What do you think on average? It's all over the map. I Is mean, it, it's really difficult to kind of put because there's so many different combination products in the herbicide world okay. that they're taking a little bit of this and a little bit of that and some of this. And, yeah. And um, so that's gonna that's gonna alter the prices and change things around quite a bit. I would say if you wanted to to, to try to you know break it down to that type of level. Um, the cheapest product that you can use is the one that's gonna get those common everyday weeds like the clovers, and, and those are very, very inexpensive products. When you get into those really waxy, cuticle, hard to control weeds, uh, you know, it's gonna bump things up probably by 20 to 30% on average. And then if you're getting into things like Nutsedge, uh, you know, that's, that, that's a premium herbicide, a very specialized product that's gonna cost uh, quite a bit more, um, you know, maybe up to 50% more. So my point, and, and John and I, we've talked a lot about this, is if you are hiring a lawn care company and, and you're trying to investigate what it's going to truly cost you, ask them what's included. Ask them if they're going to use those better products to kill all the weeds, to, to, to look after your property and keep it looking the way you want it. Thank you for your time.